All right, so uh, we got a couple of meters here that we're going to look at. This is our um, this is our meter that tells us uh, volts. I'm on the volt setting. We toggle through it uh, with the with the arrow. That's amp hours, and there's a little negative sign. This is time since I've uh, last recentered it, and this is how much power we're using right now. We got the key on, and we're sitting here, so we're actually using one amp. And if I start to accelerate a little, we'll use a little more. Uh, so that shows instantaneous how much we've used. Now this is our voltage of our battery pack. Uh, and I've got a little piece of paper here written down with the numbers, showing what fully charged is, and what dead empty is, and... You know how low you probably should go. 125 is getting pretty low, and 108 is is all the way dead. Uh, we also have this meter up here, which came with the car, uh, which we're not going to see too much movement on him, but he's he's another good one to, that you can look at. So as we're driving, we're this uh, this one right here. As you see, his numbers are counting up, and he'll keep counting till he gets to, uh, oh, approximately 90, 80. Um, we might even be able to get 100. Actually, we might even be able to get over 100 on these batteries, but... Uh, so, as you see, the numbers go up as we're driving, and when we're charging, these numbers will go back down, and when we get to all the way charged up, we will re-center our meter. And I'm going to show you how to recenter that now. Although I don't recommend you do it after you, you've driven a little because you want to do it right after you've charged. So right after you've charged, up, you push this button, the, the arrow down, and hold it. And then it goes back to zero. Now it's all the way back to zero. And uh, as we start to drive, we'll see those numbers will go up. Uh, so, we got those. Oh, what I didn't. Ex so now we're driving along, and we uh, let's say we go over here. This shows how much power we're using at the moment. And the, the less you're using at the moment, the further you're going to go. And the uh, more we use, the the less you're going to go. So if we take it up, uh, see, we're, it dri does drive a lot better yeah. since that brake line. using 76 amps going about 50 miles an hour that's pretty good at that rate yeah we could have an hour and a half of driving this thing uh, may actually get surprisingly good mileage now that we got the dragon brake fix uh yeah i could i could see 80 miles in this thing maybe As you see, while well, we're putting on the brakes, and now we're reading, we're just we're not reading any amperage at all. Our voltage is uh, creeped down just a little, but not a whole lot. He's going to be pretty stable. The thing with our voltage going up and down is, is at the extremes is where he changes quite a bit. See, when we're accelerating, he drops a little bit. So. Now, the, uh, this is very important. All right. I got a guy behind me, so I'm not gonna show the reverse switch off. So, 
first question might be, where do you want to leave this meter when you're, and uh, I kind of, I like to leave it on the amp so I know, I get an idea of how my driving is. Uh, but you also want to keep track of your voltage so that it doesn't get too low, but you got this meter here that you can look at too. So this is the reverse switch and it's got a little safety so that you accidentally don't put it in reverse. Uh, you only want to go from forward to reverse when you're at a complete stop and you don't have your foot on the gas pedal. If you got your foot on the gas pedal and you flip it into reverse, uh, it's going to go bang. And it's not so when you come to a, you know come to a stop and then go forward and then and, and take your foot off the go pedal. Uh, so that's for forward and reverse. Just remember don't don't go back and forth uh, while the while you've got your foot on the pedal or while the car is moving. Wait for it to come to a complete stop, then flip it in the opposite direction. So that's our light switch right there. That's parking lights and that's the headlights. One interesting thing is that even with the headlights on, we're still, we're not using a lot of uh, juice from our DC to DC. It's a very uh, efficient car. This right here is our 12 volt meter. Did I tell about that? Uh, uh, no, not Okay, he's so. reading 11.2. Uh, that might drop down a, a little bit. It should stay above 10.5. Uh, and it does. Uh, on our, our getting in and out, I, the, uh, I use the outside button there. This inside lever doesn't seem to work real well. All right, now we're going to talk about charging. Yep, now we're going to talk about charging. Now, we've driven around and we've used three... Uh, amp hours. <laughs> I wonder if we're plugged in. I might not have enough. You can't stop that either. 